good Friday morning. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the longer range and specifically the period of Halloween weekend. And the real question is, are we going to see our first real chill of the uh, cold season coming up uh, that Saturday, November 1st after Halloween? And there are a lot of signs are pointing to yes right now. Uh, the overall pattern, uh, I've been looking at this a lot and I think that um, generally it, it, the fall um, stays very uh, seasonable probably through the second week of November. Then from there, it's going to be a big clue to see, is the winter pattern going to really kick in in mid to late November? But until then, um, temperatures are going to be generally nice. And remember, we're heading into November, so it's not going to be, you know, normal highs aren't in the upper 60s, but it's still pretty pleasant. But let's take a look at what's going on over the next week and a half so I could show you what I'm looking at. So this is basically the jet stream, okay? So basically what you have here is... Um, Red colors are ridging, blue colors is troughs. You can identify where the warm and cold air is and also where low pressure systems is. So right here, this is the low that is escaping um, from that storm nor'easter we just had. So as we go ahead here um, through the period, you can see uh, this week we have some nice uh, warm temperatures that will be working in Monday, Tuesday time frame, which is nice. And then what we have to watch here is this storm system out here. This is gonna dig down, okay? And as this digs down and intensifies, it's going to pump up this ridge over the west coast. Okay? Once this ridge pumps up over the west coast, it's going to cause a little disturbance in the jet stream, which you can see by the, um, the blue area there, disturbance to dive down and potentially cause some uh, type of a storm system to develop somewhere in the eastern third of the country. Okay? And you can actually see the model trying to develop something uh, shown by these basically dark, real cool colors are saying, okay, there's a big low pressure area that could develop there. And notice is also showing a little bit of blocking or a ridge ahead of it. Um, now, what do I think is going to happen? I don't think um, we see a, a coastal storm. I actually right now am leaning towards something developing inland here and giving us more rain um, as we head into uh, Halloween, uh, possibly Saturday after Halloween. So it's something that needs to be watched. If I take a look at the models right now, okay, let's start off with the European model. Okay, this is, um, let's see here, this is on Tuesday, next Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, and you can see here comes a developing storm system right here um, on Thursday night, and as we get into um, uh, Halloween, you can see it develops a storm right over our area, and this is a very warm storm for us because the cold air is to, is to, the, uh, to, the, to the west, as you can see. But again, in the wake of this storm, notice what it's doing here. If you look at these blue lines, it indicates colder air it's um it's pulling down the cold air okay which leads me to think that the weekend after halloween we'll see some very cold temperatures and you actually see this map shows a little bit better this blue you could say is a real true cold air this is actually uh, five thousand feet in the atmosphere and you can see that it really pulls down that cold air due to that ridge that's really intensifying in the west so bottom line i think that um we could see colder temperatures halloween weekend our first real taste of um winter air so to say but after that, I've been really keeping an eye on this pattern, and um, if you take a look here, this is um, this is basically that the trough right here I'm talking about for Halloween exiting. But as we go into the um, longer term period, it's not it's still going to be a very uh, mild pattern. It looks like we don't have a lot of blocking over Greenland. We don't have a big ridge over the Gulf of Alaska. So what happens is this troughing allows a jet to rise over. Uh, the whole entire United States and, and bring in Pacific air. So this should flip, hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully for some people, by mid-November, and we can see, see this uh, winter pattern locked in. And a lot of that's due to what's going on in the stratosphere. It's warming, so it should be compressing key areas and causing more of a, a trough south of the Aleutian Islands, a ridge over the Gulf of Alaska or just off the west coast, and then a trough uh, over the east coast. So we'll keep watching that, but for now, uh, generally a nice week ahead. Halloween, our first big chill, I think, of uh, you know highs in, say, the higher 40s, lows in the 30s, and then uh, it should warm up again.